Hi guys, I'm back with a video on fractions on a line plot. So go ahead and hit play. Remember, while we're going through these, I'm going to be working them out on the screen. And that means you're going to be working them out with pencil and paper. So for our first one, Kara sorting buttons by length for a craft project. A line plot shows the length of each button. If Kara lines up all the three quarter inch buttons, what would be the total length? I'm going to get my pen here. We're only looking at three quarter inch buttons. And you can see each X represents one button. So she has one, two, three of those. So to figure out the total length, I'm going to add three quarters three times. Since they all have the same denominator, I can add straight across. Three plus three plus three is nine. And my denominator stays four. Now we're going to turn that into a mixed number because right now it's an improper fraction. I need to figure out how many times does four go into nine without going over. So think of your multiples of four, four, eight, 12, whoops, 12 is too big. So it goes in twice. So my whole number is two. And then I'm at eight and I need one more to get to nine. My denominator stays four. So over here, you're gonna type into your box out front, the whole number two, and then your fraction is one fourth. Click next. How much longer is a one inch button than a three inch button? So how much longer, right? We're finding the difference between a one inch button and a three eighth inch button. So I need to do one minus three eighths. One is the same as eight eighths minus three eighths. Eight minus three is five and my denominator stays eight. So I should have five eighths. What is the difference in length between a one and one quarter inch button and a one and sorry and a three eighths inch button? So again, difference means we're gonna be subtracting. So you have one and a quarter minus three eighths. So we could change this into an improper fraction by multiplying and then adding. Four times one is four plus one is five. So we have five fourths minus three eighths. This goes back to the lesson we were just doing, which is them needing to have the same denominator. So I can't subtract with them having different denominators. So we need to figure out the least common multiple of four and eight, and then change them to have the same denominator. So list out your multiples of four, four, eight, 12, 16, and your multiples of eight, eight, 16. Well, I see the smallest one that they have in common is eight. So let's change these to have an eight in the denominator. Four times two gave me eight. Whatever I do the bottom, I'm do to the top. So five times two would give me 10. And then for this one, it already has an eight in the denominator, so it can stay three, just like if we were multiplying by one. 10 eighths minus three eighths, 10 minus three is seven. And then I still have an eight in the denominator. So then I'll type in seven eighths inch and click done. Next. What is the combined length of all the buttons longer than one inch? Combined length, meaning we're going to add longer than one inch. So we're not gonna include the one inch ones. We're gonna include the ones longer than one inch, which is only these over here. So I only have two at one and a quarter. So I have one and one quarter plus one and one quarter. So if I combine those whole numbers, one and one, we have two. If I combine one quarter and one quarter, they have the same denominator, so we can actually add those up. One plus one is two, and my denominator stays four. So we have two and two fourths. So put your whole number two out front, and then two fourths in your fraction. Click next. Right, a maple syrup tree producer records the amount of sap collected from each of his trees. The line plot shows the results for one day. What is the least amount of sap any one tree produced? So you see, here we go from zero all the way to one. Only the ones with X's are amounts that were produced. So we want the one that is the least, right? We want the smallest 
where is it here, least, the smallest one. So we have one, five eighths, three eighths, and one fourth. So our one fourth is going to be our smallest. This is our least value there. So you'll click on one fourth and done. They didn't collect any at one eighth or zero, so we can't collect those. Complete the sentence. The greatest amount of sap collected from any one tree is blank times as great as the least amount of sap. So we're looking at the greatest amount that has an X, which is one, and the least amount that has an X, which is one fourth. So how much greater is one than one fourth? So one fourth, think about it like, I think about it like quarters, right? One fourth of a dollar is a quarter. How many quarters would I need to make a dollar to make one? I would need four quarters. A dollar is four times bigger than a quarter. So in here, I put a four and then say done. What is the total amount of sap the trees produced that day? All right, so we have all of these numbers that we're gonna need to add up here. So you need to write down one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. That's our three at one fourth, okay. We have three eighths and three eighths. Then we have four of these at five eighths. So we have five eighths, five eighths, five eighths, five eighths, and then the whole number one, which we know is the same as eight eighths. So we could actually even change this to eight eighths. Right, we know this is the same, eight, 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 eight is the same as one. I can change our one fourth to have the same denominator as all of our other ones, which are eights. So four times two gives me eight, so I do the same thing to the numerator, and one times two is two. So let's change these all. We could change these to two eights, two eights, and two eights. And now I can just add these numerators up, my denominator is going to be 8. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 5. Where are we at? 12, 2, 4, 6, 9, 12, 17. Plus 5 is 22. Plus 5 is 27. Plus 5 is 32. Plus 8 is 40. So we have 40 divided by 8, which would just be 5. We don't have anything left over. So we would pick five gallons. I believe this is your last question here. Find the amount of sap the maple tree producer would have collected from each tree if the total amount or five gallons was redistributed equally among the trees. So we have five total gallons, right? Five gallons split up, meaning divided by how many trees? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten divided by 10 trees. So what is five divided by 10? Some of you guys might know that in your head right away. If you weren't sure, remember we can do five over one to make it into a fraction, divided by 10 over one to make our whole numbers into a fraction. You could do your keep, change, flip, keep five over one, change division to multiplication, and then flip your second fraction, now five times one is five, 10 times one is 10, and I can reduce five tenths, right, to one half. And I know five divided by 10 would be half. Try that, and there we go. All right, that was the last one. Please reach out to me or your classroom teacher if you guys need anything else. Have a good day, guys, bye.